Okay. So I just wanted to do this quick video. I say quick, it might not be. Um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, um, I just want to show how to do the injection a little bit more in depth um, and do it face on so that you can see I'm not kind of in pain or anything like that. Um, I was really worried when I started the injections that would be painful because there's quite a few forums like kind of as Humera Junkies for example and there's quite a few people who say how painful it is and things like that and I got myself really worked up and oh, I wish I hadn't, it doesn't hurt at all from my perspective. Um, I know some people find that it stings, um, mine doesn't but in the grand scheme of things it's kind of the pain we have to put up with when we're flaring up for like 10 seconds it's worth it to get in remission I don't know but yeah I was gonna show how to do it really um, so I opt for doing mine in my thigh you can do it in your stomach um, my biosimilar is Amjavita it's back to front on here but um, yeah just this little cute thing here um, I'm on one injection weekly now. Um, I was on bi-weekly, um, but I'm still technically flaring up. Um, so we're hoping that switch it to weekly will get me in remission. Um, if not, we're probably going to be looking at infusions. But in the meantime, we're, we're sticking with this. Um, so uh, before I do the injection, wipe it with the alcohol wipe. I've already done that because I just didn't really want to do that on the camera because I think it would be quite weird just chilling and wiping my leg. Um, I've got shorts on, actually my boyfriend's because I don't have <laughs> shorts. Um, now I alternate as to what thigh I'm doing. Um, so last week I done this thigh and I'm going to be doing this um, thigh. Um, what I've got is some tissue in case it bleeds. It, it's kind of 50-50 when it bleeds. If it does, it's only a little bit. Um, and I have these really cutesy little plasters that I use afterwards that I just pop on. Um, so this has been out the fridge now for about half hour and um, a lot of advice online is to get out the fridge before you do um, the injection. My nurse said it as well and um, just yeah it's less likely to hurt when it's at room temperature so we've got that. Now one thing you have to check on each one and um, your nurse will tell you all this information but make sure that the expiry date uh, we're still within that range and um, just to make sure here is nice and clear. Doo -doo -doo. Now this is kind of like a little safety latch I guess. Um, that's already on so we just take that off like so and um, it comes off like that. I'll pop it over there. Um, and I'm not sure if this is going to show. I suppose you can see a little bit but it's like the tiniest of needles like a hair grip is thicker than this honestly it's like nothing um so i just kind of pinch the skin pop that down like that oh there's my cat hey mate what yeah <laughs> so pop that down um now i make sure it's on a firm surface and if you can see that there now there's a big lovely button so I just click that in now, so I'll do that. And then count to 10, it's probably being, that was a click, now it clicks as well. But just for good measure, I like to just wait a little while. Um, a good way to know that all the good juices are in. See the way that's gone yellow? So I'm just gonna lift that up. Um, not really bleeding at all to be fair, so I'm just gonna move that so you can see. It's a teeny bit, but yeah. So I'll just dab it a little wee bit here and then pop this in my shark's box. We get and just but yeah, literally like that's it, it's done now. Um now what I've been doing is I've tried doing it different times in the day and what I found works best for me is just before I go to bed. Um, I won't lie, I do feel the next day really um, just done in quite tight. 
tired and um, fuzzy, I suppose is the best way that I can describe it. Um, so I do try and just kind of chill, but what I have found that helps is doing the injection just before I go to bed because I kind of sleep through the the effects um, to an extent. Um, but bear in mind, I've only been on these now for, I don't know, nearly two months. And this is my first weekly injection. So the more it's in the system, you know, I might be uh, fine not having side effects. Um, I was on Ezofibrin for five years and the first couple of months I was on them, it, I really just didn't like it and very nauseous, but that worked for a really long time. And let's hope it's the same with these ones. But yeah, um, so it's Adalimimab, I can't say it, Adalimimab. Um, but it was commonly known as Humira before um, they were able to do um, biosimilars. Um, so I've got the Amgivita. Um But yeah, honestly, it doesn't hurt. Um, I just hope this kind of reassures anyone who's starting the treatments or um, is changing over to um, a bi from a biologic to a biosimilar. It just doesn't hurt. You just kind of have to be in the right mindset about it. Um, but yeah, the needle's tiny as well. So nothing to worry about on that end either. Um, but yeah, I think it's for the grand scheme of things. If it gets us in remission, it's just a little needle and yeah, pain free. Oh, um, but yeah, thought that would be helpful. Bye.